Hey everybody, it's Ashley here. Welcome back for another Nostalgic Time. I got here for you the Jenny Gymnast doll from 1994 from Mattel. Around this time period, there's a lot of dolls that came out that could do gymnastics or jump or tumble. You know, it was just the movement dolls of the time. I thought the doll was pretty cool when my sisters had her as a kid and she came with a little control pad to help you move her. And even, of course, a little cassette tape of the music for her to cheer her on. And of course, you want to look how we're metal to wear it and a little instructions of different moods for her to do. The only downsides to her that I could personally see, of course, is the doll is entirely hard, so there really wasn't much that you could cuddle with as a kid, you know, if you want to snuggle up with the doll. And that, of course, it had this long cord attached to her that could constantly get tangled, or even on the back of the box said, please remove for strangulation. I was like, holy cow. But either way, the doll's still pretty cool, and they even came out with another version later on where she had parallel bars. So I'm going to give you just a little demonstration of her. Most of the time you want to keep this as like on a soft surface or, you know, low flat carpet type or a wood floor. But with this being a glass table under here, I at least put a towel to try to bring it down. And you want to keep it, of course, like I said, as smooth as possible. And now when you start with the doll, it was recommended to start her on her back. And it takes three C batteries to do this. And always remember with older toys or anything that you're going to keep batteries in for a long time, to take the batteries out when not in use because if the battery explodes in there, you're going to have corrosion. And then, well, you can't use the toy, especially if it ruins it. So here we go. Let's see if we can get this right. The left one here was for the arms. The right one here was for the legs and do, of course, both at the same time. But starting out, let's see if we can get her going. There we go. Yep, 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 we got the leg. Let's see if she goes. I'm trying to get her to not be tangled here. There she goes. <laughs> we'll pull her back over again. I want to see if I can get her to do the little headstand that was noted on her. Where, let's see here. I know they fold out. It's a long one. Okay, so get her, you got to get her arms raised up for this. So we'll put her back on. Get her arms flat. Actually, they started her this way. Okay. So we're going to do this. We got this, guys. <laughs> this is getting her to do this. Got to get her arms powered. Oh, oh, that just pulls her to again. Gets a little tricky with her. There we go. There we go. There we go. She's doing it. She's doing it. And she's over. <laughs> Still pretty cool. And yet she pulls herself back up with grace. There we go. Look at that. Still think that's pretty cool there. But that gives you, of course, a chance to look at the Jenny Jenna, especially if you had it as a kid. And if not, you know. You can still try her out and have some fun with her. And you can find her on eBay. She ranges right now anywhere between about $50 to $100, depending on the condition that you want her with. And, of course, if you want her with the cassette tape, no cassette tape, and with the headband that she has in her hair. And the same if you want her also with her little metal. But check me out, guys. i got a lot more projects coming up for you. Of course, tons of nostalgic time. And don't forget, i got a lot of film stuff coming up for you guys as well. And also some gamer coins. So we're going to have a lot of fun with all the interesting toys and games that go back to the 1910s. And see if you can just relive that childhood and just one more time. And I will catch you guys later.